So today we're canning potatoes. Cut the potatoes in cube shapes and then we start boiling the potatoes for about two minutes. And we have the jars being prepped and we put one teaspoon of kosher salt. So after your quick two minute boil, strain out the potatoes and start to place in the jars with that kosher salt as mentioned earlier. And then you pour hot water into the jar, leaving about an inch of space at the top. And now you remove the air bubbles. You can get one of these little tools at the dollar store or local grocery store. We use the tool here to bring that as precise as we can to the one inch mark. Always wipe the rim with white vinegar before you place the seal onto the jar. Finger tight with the ring and we did by the way have the seals in hot water prior to putting the seal on. We like to try to keep things hotter going into the pressure canner. As per usual we have instructions and it's about an inch of water but you will have a mark on your pressure canner so we fill the water up to about about an inch or so where the line is and we put our um, jars of potatoes inside the pressure canner and of course we do squirt a little bit of white vinegar in there um, for cleanliness and purity purposes uh, and of course if you have a pressure canner I'm sure some instructions would go to it so definitely follow them and we're getting ready to put the lid on and start getting the pressure going and once you have your pressure canner lid in place, of course, locked in, you turn the stove on, on high, until we get some steam, and the steam will come out of this little section here, and you're gonna want that to steam out for 10 minutes. So once that steam starts, hit your timer for 10 minutes. All right, so we've been steaming for 10 minutes, and we're gonna put the weight on. We're going to wait until we hit between 10 and 11 pounds for our area. Of course, check for your elevation because your area might require 5 pounds or 15 pounds, so be sure to check. But we're going to wait till our pressure canner hits between 10 and 11 pounds and then we set the timer. We're going to pressure can for approximately 40 minutes. So 40 minutes has gone by and we're going to remove the pressure canner from the stove so it can start cooling down. This is the pressure valve and as the pressure canner builds up pressure, this valve comes up. As it cools, it drops down. So when it's fully dropped down, that's when we can take that weight off and then it will further cool. We wait usually another half an hour after that and then we gently twist the lid, but we don't pull it completely off. We let it cool some more and then we lift the lid completely off and then let the jars cool down. And there you have it, pressure canned potatoes. Excellent for quick breakfast meals. Um, a great way to be economical. If you have found any potatoes, bags of potatoes on sale, you can buy extra bags, use a couple of the bags fresh for your family, and then pressure can the rest for later on. Very economical, a great way to fill up your cellars with some storage and food preservation and a great skill to have, and another way to starve the beast. He's, he's cool, he's really hot, it's hard to think of what he's not. He's everything that needs to be. When you're out looking for excitement, Mr. Potato Head's full of delightment. He's got a style, he's got a groove, his eyes and ears and hands removed. He comes smiling till he goes to bed.